Hey peeps, Liam here, back again, and it's finally here. The Last of Us Part 1 has released on Steam. It's probably one of my favourite single-player games ever made. There is very little info about how it would work on Steam Deck and PC at all prior to release. And there's no official deck verified rating coming in from Valve at release either. Now, I did spot at least that on the day of release, Valve updated Proton Hotfix specifically for The Last of Us. And they set it by default as well, so I would recommend firmly sticking with what Valve has set for it for now. This video is going to serve as a warning though, and not a proper first look. To begin with, it will take somewhere around one hour to just build the shaders on the main menu. Once you get to about 50% or so done though, it does speed up a fair bit. So you're in for quite a wait on that even after you've downloaded it. And it's not something you want to skip either, otherwise you will see worse performance. I did try skipping it just to test and the performance even in the prologue was not great, jumping about all over the place. Once I let the shaders build a little more, and then go back in, it actually rebooted my Steam Deck when the RAM filled up. An issue that has been repeating in other titles like God of War, Death Stranding and others. Once again, for science, I let it build up the shaders even more and then went back in, and the game simply slowed to an almighty crawl and just wouldn't recover. So I'm doing the science here so that you don't have to. So even though the shader building on the main menu takes a small lifetime, the worst I've seen in any game yet, you really do not want to be skipping on that, as it will cause worse performance and hard crash. Something that surprised me was how quiet everyone has been on this, that was until I saw a number of others mention that Sony simply didn't supply them with a review copy. They only said to me it would be a maybe, and then they didn't reply to me again, so this is a personal purchase to take a look at it. Honestly, you might want to give this one quite a few days or weeks for the early issues to be picked up, and no doubt Valve will be looking into optimising it more since they only just did a Proton hotfix for it. So I would say take anything you see on this, on Steam Deck especially, with a pinch of salt, since it takes so long to get it into a playable state. And really, that's just not acceptable in my eyes. I wouldn't recommend picking it up like this. Just having to wait so long after you download it for it to then even be remotely playable. But others, I'm sure, will be happy to put up with the wait and play it on the go. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I just say it as I see it. And we don't have to agree. It's good to have different opinions on things. Once the shaders were fully built though, I could actually jump in properly. The good news there is that it does actually work. Well, sort of. Performance in multiple areas is quite problematic, and it has the issue again, in-game, even with all the shaders done, where the RAM can just fill up and reboot the Steam Deck. The default settings have a mixture of low, medium and FSR set to quality and in the prologue it does seem okay until you get into more of the action where the performance just drops right down below 30 FPS and it is not good. Keep in mind, there's quite a few bits in the later game that will be as intense as this. So dropping it all down to low, that actually didn't help that much at all the performance was still quite problematic here in the prologue. And eventually, it did again reboot my Steam Deck because the game just hard crashed when you see the RAM spiking upwards. Going by early Steam user reviews and forum posts, seeing lots of reports of it crashing on Windows PCs as well, so the Steam Deck is not alone in the issues. So I'm not particularly happy with this overall, as more and more games are coming out that seem to have this issue with the RAM filling up and then crashing or rebooting the Steam Deck. Not everyone has those issues, of course, because a fair few people are tweaking their RAM values in the BIOS or using Cryptobike scripts to change things like swap. And clearly there's a reason why Valve has not given it a deck verified rating, even with their Proton Hotfix update. So for now, I just wanted to get early word out there on what to actually expect from The Last of Us now that it's out, and I'll have a full, proper Steam Deck news video up hopefully later this week. So hopefully with this warning about how it runs right now, you can save a bit of money until it all gets fixed up. 
That's it for this video though. Please subscribe, like, comment and help the channel grow. If you do pick it up, let me know what your experience is like in the comments and I'll see you later.